Certified Most Accurate Forecast. Welcome back. We've got a cold day taking shape. The cloud cover from last night. We had the rain showers move through for the overnight, about two tenths of an inch of rain along the front. And now for today, a big change. Take a look. Yesterday afternoon, the high temperature was 76. We tied the record high from back in 1930. And now a big change today with wind chills in the 20s most of the day. Here's a look at the WLWT radar. The rain showers that came through for the night. And now behind it, the cold air filters in. And within that, any little ripple of moisture. We do have a loft, plenty of cold air, so that's supporting a couple of snow flurries and flakes out there, but also some of them melting before they make it to the ground and some cold sprinkles as well within the 275 loop. So a little bit dependent on where you are, but the potential for a few flurries flying the next couple of hours will not amount to any accumulation and surface temperatures are comfortably above freezing, so they will not be a problem. In fact, if you live southwest of Cincinnati, you will likely be dry all of today and those temperatures are a little bit higher. Note the colder air Wilmington's at 36 degrees, 37 for Loveland, Cincinnati officially at 38. We all have the cloud cover from the night that will stick with us today and the winds will be strong for everyone. A west breeze currently at 22 miles an hour. The wind gust observation is around 30 miles an hour and so we'll keep those winds strong all afternoon. The current wind chill factored in. It feels like 27 degrees. What a drop back from the 70s yesterday. Satellite and radar showing not a lot of moisture behind the system. The lake affects no showers in general. Stay across northern Indiana and Ohio. But we have enough moisture overhead within the cloud cover. A few flurries flying today. The main story will be the cold temperatures and the strong winds. They stick with us throughout the day today. As we make it into our overnight, the clouds start to break up. We still have plenty of cold air to settle in and highs tomorrow, even with the sun back. I think we're looking at upper 30s to around 40 degrees. So still a very chilly day to end our weekend. A close look at our future cast just to note that the better potential for some of those snow showers this morning and into our midday or light flurries at that will be our northeast counties and lasting through about two or three o'clock this afternoon. Then they're going to slide out of here. The clouds will start to break up after that. 38 degrees at 2 o'clock. By 6 o'clock, we drop back to 37. Wind chills will fall into the mid-20s quickly through our evening. The wind stays strong today. We drop off to 27 for a low tonight, and that means tomorrow morning wind chills upper teens to around 20 degrees. A couple of days with dry conditions with sunshine early in the work week. Then the next cold front will bring likely rain on Wednesday. A few showers behind it for Thanksgiving Day as temperatures start to cool.